Well, the first month of 2020 is complete. In this video, you're gonna find out how the Edmonton real estate market and the Sherwood Park real estate market did compared to December and compared to last January, 2019. Also, I'm gonna tell you the top three neighborhoods in Edmonton and in Sherwood Park where the most home sales happened in January, 2020. Hey guys, well, I don't know what to tell you. January 2020 was really good for some and not so good for others. I really expected January 2020 to be pretty flat from December and quite a bit better from 2019. Before we get into the details on if I was right or wrong about that, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. So if you've been watching my market updates, you know that I always talk about the single family detached home segment and the condo segment. We're gonna to touch on both of those for Edmonton and Sherwood Park. Within those segments, we're gonna talk about three things. One is the list to sold ratio. The amount of money the homes are selling for compared to what they're being listed for. Two, the actual median sold prices. And three, the median days on market. So how long is it taking for homes to sell once they hit the market? First up, the Edmonton residential real estate market, and we'll talk about single family detached homes. So based on the median sold price and the median list price, the list to sold ratio for single family detached homes was pretty flat month over month at 96%. And it was actually also flat year over year. And those buyers that did pick up a home in January seem to get a pretty good deal on their home, based on median sold prices, that is. The median sold price was down to 2-3% month over month and year over year. And maybe due to this price drop, we did see more buyers enter the market as we had more sales this January compared to last January. This January we saw 355 single family detached homes sell versus 310 from the year before. And congrats to you sellers who ended up selling in January. It wasn't an easy road. The median days on market was up nearly two weeks compared to December to 62 days on market. But at least you were selling faster than homes last January. Okay, now looking at condos in Edmonton. So the list of sold ratio was pretty flat year over year, but we had a pretty good improvement from month over month. We came in at 96%, which was 3% higher than in December. That could be because sellers seem to be pretty motivated to sell. The median sold prices were down. They were down 9% from December and 7% from last January. Remember, that's for condos all over Edmonton. When you look at the different neighborhoods, things have a different picture. For example, downtown condos were flat month over month, but saw a 30% increase in sold prices year over year. The median days on market was up nine days month over month and down six days year over year. I don't know if you remember, but that super cold spell was in January and it was about 10 days. So maybe that had something to do with it. Okay, moving on to Sherwood Park. Detached single family home list to sold ratio remains flat. Um, it was at 96%, which is within a percentage or two month over month and year over year. The median sold price of 416,000 came in right in between last month and last January. Last month they were higher at 429,000 and last January we were quite a bit lower at 407,000. In Sherwood Park, homes continue to sell slightly faster than in Edmonton. Even though the median days on market was up to 53 days, that's still much faster than Edmonton. And the difference month over month was about 11 days, so maybe that cold snap affected it too. Condos in Sherwood Park continue to surprise me with their inconsistency. The list of sold ratio remained flat month over month, but improved greatly year over year. January 2020, the list of sold ratio was 97% versus 93% from January 2019. Well, you might be thinking this is because the median sold prices are down. Well, you'd be wrong. 
The median sold price for condos in Shura Park was $274,000. This is up quite a bit from January 2019 where they were at $255,000. However, before you condo sellers get too excited, this median sold price was slightly down compared to December 2019. With respect to median average days on market, patience was the name of the game. It was taking 79 median days on market for condos to sell in Shore Park. This is up 12 days month over month and 15 days year over year. So every segment I just discussed is currently in a buyer's market. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but if you saw my market forecast, economists are indicating improvement in the economy, which should improve home prices. Which means for the time being, sellers are still gonna have to price their homes competitively and there are still some great deals to be had for the buyers. Okay, so which neighborhoods in Edmonton and Sherwood Park saw the most action for January 2020? First up, Edmonton. The top three neighborhoods that saw the most sales in January 2020 were number one, Oliver, which had 12 sales. Number two, Walker with 11 sales and number three. We had a three-way tie for third place. Those neighborhoods include Strathcona, Kinsey Gardens, and Windermere, each of them having nine sales. And for sure, Park, the top three neighborhoods with the most sales were number one, Summerwood with six sales, number two and number three because they tied with the same amount of sales are Glen Allen and Aspen Trails with five sales each. Now, these may not be the most popular neighborhoods, but they were the most popular neighborhood with the right inventory for January buyers. As always, if you have any questions or need further information or would like a free home evaluation, just reach out to me. If you found this information to be helpful and valuable, please click that like button and share this video with your friends. I'll see you on my next video. Take care, bye.